Hey everyone, Jamie Lee here from Bird Tricks, and today's topic is should you clip your baby bird for the safety of your baby bird? I hear all the time the breeder or the pet shop or whoever, what have you, told me to clip my bird because otherwise it'll crash into a window and break its neck, or it could get hurt and break its keel bone from flying and crashing. <sighs> what do you think my answer is gonna be? Did you know that there's several dozen things that you can do in the bird's first year of its life to put these beautiful things into rescues for the rest of their life? We just created a baby bird course, so check out the link in the description if you feel like you need help setting your baby bird up for success. But in the meantime, enjoy this baby bird related video. So it kind of floors me that people are willing to baby proof their homes with the understanding that their human baby is going to get hurt, going to get into things that it shouldn't, um, that they're going to fall down, that, you know, just all the things. They're not going to put them on a balcony and be like, oh, well, if they fall, they'll definitely learn their lesson. No, we baby proof. Well, the same thing is needed for birds whom you are allowing to fledge properly and fly. So no, you shouldn't be clipping your bird for its safety and I hate that excuse. Although some people have likely experienced that because it wouldn't come to fruition if, if they hadn't. I'm sure that there's been some birds that hit so hard they got a concussion or they broke their neck or they slid down a wall and broke their keel or whatever it was. I'm sure there's horror stories on the whole thing but there's also horror stories of a bird never learning to fly, developing fear from even trying, and becoming an obese perch potato that dies from fatty liver disease. That's incredibly common nowadays. Woo! Good thing you still have your wings. <laughs> this is baby Bo. He is a blue and gold macaw we are raising for a client. So he's actually still a baby. Um, and he is a bird that I'm so glad has never known what it's like to be clipped. So, and that's one thing with, that I always think about with my own birds. If anything ever happened free flying and somebody just like took one of my birds and clipped it, they have never been clipped before and what that would do to them psychologically is so devastating to even imagine. The psychological damage that is done to birds through clipping and getting hurt then uh, from trying to fly because instinctively and naturally, their bodies and minds are telling them to fly, to keep trying, to get up and try again, just like a human is conditioned to do. They don't just fall one time on their butts and be like, well, that was it. I gave it a good try, but walking's not in the cards for me. No, they get right back up and they try again. <clears throat> That's because it's conditioned for us to learn at a certain age. And it's the same thing with birds. They are conditioned from nature instinctively to learn to fledge at a certain age. And so they're gonna try really hard. And if you clip them during that stage, they're still gonna try. The only difference is they're gonna do nothing but fail. And so they're going to learn to fear that, to not trust their wings, to not trust their bodies. And psychologically, it's very, very damaging. So it's a main reason why I am anti ever, ever, ever cutting a fledgling's bird's wings. Like you just don't do that. That's when they're naturally supposed to learn. Um, so to do that is just psychologically really messing up your bird and setting it up to fail later on. So sadly, a lot of people change their mind later on and are like, oh, my bird's never flown in the 15 years or 30 years that it's lived, but now I changed my mind. I understand what's good. Let the wings grow out. My bird's not flying. <laughs> And it's like, no, because it has been conditioned that flight equals pain. So it learned to give up and not to try. Um, so for changing your mind down the road, it's something that's incredibly hard to undo. And I will say that I'm not saying that there's no dangers with teaching a fledging bird to fly. Like, that's not the case. They are going to crash. They are going to get hurt and be uncomfortable sometimes. Like, it's just inevitable. You can't learn to walk or learn to fly without failing at some point in some way. However, you can make modifications to make it safer. So you can 
have blinds in the windows so that your bird understands like, hey, there's something there. I cannot penetrate this area. I can't just fly through it. Um, and you can think through those instances in your home of what you can change or modify that might be a problem. Or even I've heard of people putting pillows under windows or under areas where they think that the bird might crash and then fall down. Because that is a real scenario where you're worried about that bird just doing almost like a cartoon style into the wall and then smears its way down. Um, so you definitely don't want that. And there's certain instances where you're definitely gonna need to help your bird out when it's just hanging there like, I don't know how I got here and I don't know how to get down and you think that it could end in the bird getting hurt. Yes, get your bird out of that situation. But if it's just an uncomfortable situation where your bird isn't going to get hurt, I've had my bird slide down the, my piano before, um, and it gives them enough time to troubleshoot and take off again. So for me, that's not something I save them from. But if they're hanging from a, a circuit light and they look like they don't have enough space between when they fall and to take off again then yeah I'll help them out so um, and that's just until they develop skills so there's definitely some give and take with flight training of baby birds but overall please don't clip your baby bird for its own safety like that's just a load of crap well where are you going <laughs> he just flew into my room um, as you can see, they become very capable very quickly. He knows where the foraging tree is in there. <laughs> he knows where my bed is. You just didn't realize I wasn't in there. Uh, but yeah, so clipping for the bird's safety is a load of crap. I think it's more dangerous to clip during that stage and then allow them to fail over and over and over again because that's when they're gonna fall. That's when falling is just inevitable at that point because they can't get height or flight. For more tips and tricks on baby birds and how to raise your baby bird right, check out our baby bird course, link in the video description.